Welcome to Northwood's Pursuit, where wild stories come to life. Today, we're spotlighting the Komodo dragon, the world's largest lizard and one of nature's most powerful predators. Protected by strict laws, these endangered giants raise a tough question. How do we preserve them without putting nearby communities at risk? Stick around as we explore real solutions and bold conservation efforts. If you love wildlife and raw adventure, hit subscribe and join us on the road to 10,000 strong. Deep in Indonesia's rugged islands, a groundbreaking conservation effort is changing the game for Komodo dragons. This bold initiative isn't just about saving a species, it's about protecting people too. With dragons growing up to 10 feet long, weighing over 200 pounds, and equipped with razor-sharp claws and lightning reflexes, human encounters can be dangerous and costly. In fact, recent conflicts have caused injuries and racked up more than $12 million in damages. But now, a smarter, more humane strategy is paving the way. Through innovative solutions and community-focused approaches, conservationists are finding a better path forward, one where wildlife and people can thrive side by side. Let's dive into the heart of this inspiring mission and see what the future holds. In 2023, the Indonesian government partnered with the World Wildlife Fund WWF, to launch bold new strategies aimed at protecting both Komodo dragons and the communities living near them. Rather than banning interaction altogether, they've implemented tightly regulated hunting policies based on in-depth population research. Only 60 to 120 permits are issued annually by the Ministry of Environment and Forestry, ensuring the species is managed responsibly. These hunts take place during the dry season, April through October, and require advanced equipment, including high-powered rifles, precision scopes, and full protective gear. Each outing is closely tracked, with hunters required to submit detailed post-trip reports, creating a rare balance between conservation, public safety, and strict accountability. This collaboration has already made a serious impact. Livestock attacks have dropped by over 75%, and human Komodo dragon encounters are down nearly 30% in hotspot areas like Flores and Rinka. Considering the raw power of these predators, with their venomous bite, razor-sharp teeth, and lightning-fast strikes, solo hunts are completely prohibited, no matter how experienced the hunter. It's a strict but vital rule, designed to keep everyone safe while reinforcing a long-term vision, a future where people and Komodo dragons can share the land in harmony. To ensure safety in the field, Indonesian law requires all Komodo dragon hunting teams to consist of at least four to five members. These group operations aren't just protocol, they're essential. Komodo dragons are powerful, unpredictable predators, and having a full team provides the backup needed in case things go sideways. Hunters rely on strategic methods, using strong scented bait like fresh goat, pig, or beef to draw the dragons in. The bait's intense smell attracts the reptiles from a distance, giving hunters the advantage of time, space, and accuracy, critical when every move counts in such a dangerous environment. In 2024, the Indonesian government launched a series of powerful public education campaigns aimed at raising awareness about the dangers of Komodo dragons and giving local communities the tools they need to stay safe. These programs focus on teaching people how to recognize early warning signs of a nearby dragon and respond quickly and effectively. On top of that, the government promotes the use of reinforced fencing and barriers to help protect livestock from potential attacks. By combining education with practical defense strategies, these initiatives are helping communities live more safely alongside one of the world's most fearsome predators. As wild boar numbers surge across the U.S., these aggressive animals now cause more than 3,000 attacks on hunters every year. In response, wildlife officials made a major shift in 2023, ditching old-school hunting tactics in favor of advanced trapping technologies. Backed by more than 65% of conservation experts and local landowners, this change marks a turning point in how we manage invasive species. But the big question remains, how can we refine these methods to improve safety and protect the ecosystem? And what cutting-edge solutions are coming next? Stick with us as we explore the evolving world of wildlife control. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest insights and strategies. This video is for educational and awareness purposes. All scenes follow local laws and ethical hunting guidelines. Welcome to the Leopard Farm channel, where we dive into the wildest corners of nature. Ever heard of a real-life dinosaur still stalking the earth? Meet the Komodo dragon, a fearsome beast straight out of prehistoric times. These massive reptiles, tipping the scales at up to 366 pounds, rule the rugged landscapes of Rinka Island, captivating scientists and thrill-seekers alike.
But what makes these ancient predators so dangerous? And what secrets do they hold that set them apart from every other creature? Join us as we unravel the mysteries of the Komodo dragon. Hit that subscribe button. We're charging toward 1,000 subscribers, and your support fuels our journey. Scatter across Rinka, Komodo, and nearby islands, around 8,000 Komodo dragons dominate as fiercely territorial titans. Males clash in epic showdowns, wielding razor-sharp claws, whip-like tails, and raw power to claim territory and mates. Yet, what truly cements their status as nature's ultimate survivors is their extraordinary resilience. Unlike other reptiles, Komodo dragons boast a supercharged immune system, healing rapidly from brutal injuries. Research reveals their blood is packed with antimicrobial peptides, fending off bacteria that would spell doom for most creatures. This incredible adaptation has kept these living dinosaurs thriving for millions of years, cementing their legacy as one of the planet's toughest predators. As the breeding season ramps up, Komodo dragons get hungrier and bolder, venturing into nearby villages in search of easy meals. This surge in activity has led to devastating losses for local farmers, with over 5,000 livestock, goats, pigs, and chickens taken by these ancient predators. In 2024 alone, one Rinka Island farmer lost 25 goats in just a month, racking up a staggering $9,000 in damages. These attacks don't just hit wallet hard. They're sparking growing tension between communities and these formidable reptiles. So, what's being done to tackle this escalating conflict and protect both people and dragons? To curb the rising tide of Komodo dragon incursions, local authorities have launched a targeted population control program bringing in expert hunters to manage the situation. Only licensed professionals with proven skills in tracking large games are allowed to take part, operating under tight regulations. Each team, made up of three to five members, including a lead hunter, tracker, and support staff, uses high-powered .375 H&H Magnum rifles or tranquilizer guns for safe captures. To encourage participation, hunters are paid between $5,000 and $15,000 per dragon depending on the animal's size and the risk involved, balancing conservation with community safety. <clears throat> During the dry season, when Komodo dragons are at their most active, hunting season kicks into high gear on Rinka, Komodo, and Flores Islands, where clashes with humans peak. Equipped with cutting-edge tools like thermal imaging binoculars, GPS trackers, and motion-activated cameras, skilled hunters track these elusive predators with precision. Once a dragon is in sight, hunters keep a safe distance of 50 to 100 yards to ensure both a clean shot and their own safety. Aiming for the spine or heart guarantees a swift, humane takedown. These carefully managed hunts not only ease tension between locals and dragons, but also help preserve the delicate balance of the ecosystem. But taking on a Komodo dragon is no walk in the park. These giants are lightning fast, ferocious, and wildly unpredictable. In 2024, a chilling incident on Komodo Island drove that point home. A hunter, fresh off a successful takedown, was blindsided by a second dragon lurking nearby. The beast charged, knocking him to the ground, but quick thinking and backup from his team spared him with just minor scrapes. Stories like these underscore the heart-pounding risks of facing off against one of the planet's most fearsome reptiles. As a protected species, Komodo dragons are subject to strict hunting regulations to keep their populations thriving. Hunters must secure special permits and adhere to a tight quota, with only 15% of the population allowed to be culled each season. Breaking these rules risks harsh consequences, from license revocation to hefty fines. Overhunting could even throw the ecosystem out of whack, causing ripple effects on local wildlife and the environment. These measures strike a delicate balance between human safety, 
preserving one of nature's most iconic predators. This video is for educational and awareness purposes.